Good afternoon, and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Monday, December 6, 2021. We're so excited to have with us today at the studio, Primitive Man. Hey, how you doing? Happy to be here. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having us. All right, we can go into our first song.
between them and then talk. Can we do that? Get it. All right.
You are watching Audio Tree Live. My name is Tim, your host, and you were just decimated by Primitive Man. That was excellent. Great job, guys. Oh, thanks, man. I'm sorry that I uh, didn't stop. It's just playing this ultra negative shit. All good. You just got to keep it going. Yeah. Just, yeah. You get the momentum. It. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. All good. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to talk about, like, first, the, the last few days on, on the road that you've had. Um, so. Let's start with Raccoon Motel in Davenport. Um, you, how, how was that place? I've actually, I'm from the Quad Cities. I had never heard of it. Is how, how was is that? A, is that actually a motel, or was that just like the name it was given? Oh, oh it's just a funny name. Um, oh, okay. It's a cool place. Like actually, a really cool venue. We've been going there for years. We uh, been playing houses there and mm. all this the stuff in the area. So it's probably the nicest place we played. Like the best crowd that's been there. A really nice venue. And those dudes that. Uh, Wake Brewing put that on, and there's I did like see a, that, yeah. a beer that they did for us there, and we had like a, a seven inch flexi. It was a really positive experience, like, super cool area to play. Yeah, so. that Wake is a very, very cool brew, and I, I definitely want to talk to you about that. How did you come together with them, especially getting a beer and a flexi and all that? How did how did that all come about? Um, so Jason has been doing our shows for a long time now, like I don't yeah, know, Jason like, Parrish, yeah. yeah, like four or five years, and uh, he just asked. Excellent. Yeah, I mean the beer that they make is is absolutely phenomenal. It's very good. Yeah, man. And yeah, and, and they yeah they they've worked with a lot of really great bands like Weed Eater and, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it's great to see another band on such a cool like beer lineup and flexi roster. It's super cool flexi roster. Yeah, well, I can't say too much, but I know about some of the stuff they have coming up. And it's really good stuff. So. I can't wait. Yeah, you got did you get a sneak sneak taste. Yeah, I know a little bit about it. Nice. So. All right. Well, I won't badger you too much on camera about it. Um, how about uh, uh, you had so two shows here in Chicago? You've been here for a couple of days now. Um, so you had Reggie's on Saturday mm -hmm. and then Bee Kitchen uh, yesterday. Yeah. Um, I did I did not see the Reggie show, but the Bee Kitchen show was like a, a great turnout. It, it looked like picture wise that the Reggie show did really well, also. Yeah, it was great. It was sold out. Killer show. Yeah, part of a big event there. So yeah, there was a ton, there was like nine, ten bands playing or something like that. It was quite yeah, a few. Like yeah, it was nice. It was like a was there was that that was for something specific, wasn't it? Was that like some sort of like charity or was it? I know it was. was it was just a just a thing where uh, I think two tours were coming together at the same time in the city, mm. and uh, folks combined the show and then added some bands from here like Indian and mm. and uh, Ricky Divinity and Equant and I think that's it. Yeah, that was and, quite a lineup. Yeah, I just made a thing of it. So yeah, and then Bee Kitchen that show was. I mean, I. It, I didn't realize it until until um, about an hour before doors open, but I was like, oh, this is a one o'clock doors, like two o'clock show. I was very surprised. But then when I got there, I mean, it was a packed house at three in the afternoon while you were playing. Mm -hmm. And I was very happy to see that. That was really cool. I mean, <clears throat> everyone came out for for that show. I mean, it's just I mean, especially when you have like two nights in a row. It, yeah, was, it, was cool. it was just a packed house of everyone watching. It was really good. Yeah, it was good, man. It felt uh, fun to play this stuff in the afternoon to people in a place like that. It was awesome. Yeah, daylight shows are always a little bit bizarre because mm -hmm. it's kind of jarring. You expect to go outside. It's going to be dark, and that just was not the case at all. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was it was excellent. Y'all sounded really great. Thank you. Um, and then you have uh, the, the Sanctuary in Detroit tomorrow, so that will be really cool. Have you ever played there before? We have. One time we played there in 2019 with Full Fell. It was a really nice time. Yeah, so. I bet that. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. That's, that's going to be a cool one, I'm sure. There will be a great turnout for that one, um, and then let's see about like how about like Denver? Do you so where y'all from? Um, what what's the scene like there as far as you know in your vein? Do you have like a pretty good like spread of like bands that you can kind of play with, or like a good decent amount of venues that you can like perform at? Um, yeah, there there is a decent amount of venues. There's a ton of bands. We're on tour with Blood Incantation right now. We're from our city. Um, awesome. And uh, the DIY scene isn't what it used to be. Um, just because of developers and stuff like that, but there's plenty of like bars and clubs and, and that sort of thing. The music scene is definitely a lot larger than it was when we were growing up. Um, and the city itself has just blown up. So. Yeah, um, your amp. So I couldn't. You can't help but notice that uh, you like gear. So I see. <laughs> yeah. I see four heads between the two of you, and then you got two full stacks here, and then two full, uh, two eight tens. I'm guess is a two. Are they both eight, eight tens? Uh, one is a three fifteen. 315, nice. By the worshiper dudes in Austin, Texas. Yeah, and then I also noticed that all of those Dean Costello, those are all head, you yeah. know, Dean Costello heads. Yeah, so every, we, we use, exclusively use Dean Costello amps, Chicago-based, and then worshiper cabs, which is uh, Texas-based. We had this amp pig, but, you know, they don't acknowledge us, so whatever. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
and, and I mean, and I and I heard that you you had one of the earlier versions of the the heavy metal warfare. Yeah, I think I have the second. So this one is the second one that Dean has ever made, um, and I'm honored to have it. I love that they're just beautiful pieces of furniture. Yeah, it's, it, it's, crazy. it's just they're yeah, they're so nice. Like I, I told you before, I have one myself, and I I love it. It's it's so good. And then you just got the a prototype for a brand new. Um, a new uh, heavy metal warf- yeah, it's warfare. Yeah, the heavy metal warfare base version. But yeah, that's the prototype there. Well, it sounds great, and I honestly am gonna have to probably talk to Dean about getting one of those yeah, <laughs> eventually. Yeah. It's really highly cool. recommend. Yeah, his he's got some great stuff under his belt there. Um, any other like? Uh, well, I know you do a lot of a lot of the artwork. Um, do you do all the artwork for your band stuff? Mm-hmm. I noticed you have like a very nice like cohesive um, yeah. like, like vibe. But um, is there any is there anything else that like y'all do like um, any any like hobbies, passions, like also besides like music, like obviously you do your art. What about you, gentlemen? Anything that you're just like I'm a pro bowler or just, like <laughs> play music. <laughs> that's great. That's that's what you need. Just rockers, dude. That's great. Hell yeah. When it's got to be so nice to have an on an on site artist like to be able to take care of all of these hard yeah. to hard to take care of duties. I mean, that's like having like an, a nice look and stuff. That's got to be really definitely difficult. appreciate this guy. He's done. It's been nice <laughs> not having to venture out get other people. He's very cheap sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I started doing it because we didn't have the money we to hire our people, that's... and then I just kind of just kept. It's a good reason to start, it. and I and I yeah, I went through your portfolio, and it's really cool. It's it's really neat. I, I did read that you you kind of had like a thing that you were doing at first, but then you kind of set that aside, re- like scrapped everything, and yeah, so, started over. Yeah, so like I don't know. I, I felt like I was like learning as I go, like anybody else, and then I got to a point where I just was like. Everything I've done, I've done is trash, so I <laughs> destroyed all of it and uh, started over and, and been on a new path since then. So. Well, it looks great. You're you're doing an excellent job, and I hope people hit you up for like commissions and all that. I'm assuming you take like like commission work like type thing, and yeah, hit me up. Yeah, hit them up. It looks good. Hit it looks me good. Up. Um, well, thank you so much for coming out. This was really excellent. I loved nerding over nerding out over all your gear. And, thank you. For um, oh, us. I also do want to ask real quick about your pedal. That was something I wanted to ask about. How did that end up happening? Because that's such a cool merch idea that uh, a lot of people don't have, and it's so neat when I see it. Well, originally, I I was just, I've been playing on, like, cheapo crap my whole, this whole time we've been a band. And then I talked to this company from Denver called Foul Sounds about doing a custom pedal or if he had anything that would work for me. Mm. And he he showed me a couple things that he had, and I was like, I wanted there to be a second component to the pedal, so half of it is a bass overdrive, and then the other half is a synth drone circuit. I did see that knob. When I was checking out the merch table, I saw that synth drone knob. I was like, I don't, I've never seen that before. So it's like a three voice synth on there, and it has a delay, and also uh, there's an effects loop. So it's a, basically it's, it's a separate instrument on the left there, and then the other side is a bass distortion. Very cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, so if you you know see it at the merch table, definitely grab that. And I mean, your merch section is stacked. Bunch of shirts, bunch of albums. Yeah, go and grab all that stuff. And it was great to have you in the studio today. It was so nice meeting all of you. Thank you. We appreciate thank you, you having us. So Absolutely. Thank you so much, man. Um, thank you so much for crushing um, Audio Tree Live staff. The, uh, everybody watching, thank you so much for, for tuning in. And we'll all see right. you next time. Thanks, y'all. All right, so you guys want to do it for real now?